Hello friend, welcome to Fun Tuesdays. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can turn your iPad or iPhone into a whimsical day in a pond or a fun picnic in a meadow using the new icon set I have developed for Fun Digitals. This cottagecore icon set has a little over 60 different icons in pixel art to match with the other phone digitals if you have purchased any. Also, the pack has different illustrator and color backgrounds for phone and tablet. Finally, illustrated widgets to play with that you can use to complete your layout. In this tutorial, I'm going to be using the focus mode that is going to allow us to create different layouts that we can interchange whenever we want. Before we start, we need to download all the assets to our camera roll. And we're going to be needing three apps, the shortcuts app and two apps to create widgets. One is the all time favorite widget smith and another one that I like very much and it's widget skip. This one is going to allow us to add widgets in different layouts and even add animated GIFs. Once we have all of that, we can start changing the icons. Go to the shortcuts app. In the top right corner, there is a plus sign for creating a new shortcut. Click on it. Remember, you can replicate this same process in the iPhone too. Here you can change the shortcut's name so we know what app it belongs to. Press open app, that is the action we want our shortcut to do. Here you can look for the app we want the shortcut to open. Mine is Instagram. Now in this sign, we can add our shortcut to the home screen. In this little page, we already have the name of our shortcut because we changed it at the beginning. But now we have to add the cover image that is why we are here, right? Look for the icon you like the most in terms of color. I want to create a layout of two different colors. Finally, the original app, we can remove it from the home screen. So we have just our shortcut present. Now let's create some widgets. For creating widgets, you can use Widget Smith, but I'm going to be using my favorite, that is Widget Kit. that as I told you, it's great because it's, it's going to allow us to create different layouts in the same widget. When you open the app, you can choose the widget size you are going to be creating. I'm going to choose the horizontal widget. In layouts, I'm going to change to two image in the same widget because I will be adding a clock and one of my square images. I can change the background color using the colored widgets that comes in the back. In the left part, I'm adding the clock. I can customize it in color and shape. And in the right side, I add medium and the image I'm going to be using. Finally, I'm going to be changing the background using the focus mode. This is only for the people that have updated their iPhone or iPad into iOS 17. Otherwise, you're going to, not going to be able to do this. Go to the block screen and press the image. Now you're going to see all the images you have used as background if you sweep to the left and a blank page with a plus sign at the end. Click that plus sign and add the image you want to use as background. When this is done, you are given the option to customize the home screen with the same image, as is or blur. Use the background color or gradient or even choose another pic from the camera roll. When this is done, you can pair these settings with the focus mode you have created, like this. In the bottom, click the focus settings. In the settings, go to the plus sign in the top, add custom. Here you can add name, color, and a symbol, and click next. In this page, you can add the apps you want to block, which lock screens you want, and what home screens you want to use. You can create as many focus modes and as many home screens as you want to. You can use with filters that 
allow you to be more productive during the day, but also maintaining the aesthetics in your home screen. Using this icon set, you can play with different backgrounds, different widgets, and different color icons and create tons of different layouts. Before I go, the Cottage Core Pixel Art icon set is already available on my Etsy shop. I will leave the link in the description down below for you to go and check it out. You can purchase also phone notebook, journals, planners to continue with the pixel art style. They all come with custom icon shortcuts that you can use to uh, keep up with the pixel art style in your home screen. Again, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.